Welcome to the Elevate Every Day podcast. I'm here with my trusty co-host, Coach Herb. It's been a couple of weeks. I had a, a powerlifting competition, uh, and this one we're going to be talking about because it's kind of fresh on my mind, like staying motivated, um, continuous goal setting, and building momentum are kind of the three things that we're going to talk about. Um, so Herb, let's start with staying motivated. I know this is a pretty broad topic, but what's what's your perspective um, and input on just staying motivated overall? You know, everybody gets into bodybuilding, they get into weightlifting, they get into the weight reduction, taking care of themselves. You have to have a reason why. And a lot of times we forget what, what motivated you to come in. You know, somebody walks into the gym and says, coach, I need to lose 30 pounds. I'm like, how long have you been thinking about this? Well, uh, six months. Well, then what happened to you in the last three days that made you come in today? So you, you, people have a tendency to forget what got them in the door the first time, right? They, all, they think about all the problems and all the struggles and they forget, shit, that, why am I here, right? So it's important to recognize the reason that you're trying to get in shape, get bigger, get smaller, whatever the situation is. Because that's the reason that when things get tough, you're going to be able to pull back on and go, I'm here for a reason. This is it. I'm not there yet. Let's keep going. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh, music motivates me. This motivates me. Um, but you got to find that reason, right? Because motivation is only going to get you so far. It's the habits that you build during that time that you're motivated to keep you going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, you're not feeling good. You get up. You didn't go to bed early enough. A little bit tired on a Friday. But you got to go to. You got to work out, man. It's what you do. That's what you do. That's your habit. Right. Yeah. So again, motivation gets you going. Habits keep you going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and this is it's kind of cliche, but it's cliche for a reason, right? Like, there's a lot of things like that, yeah. but um, like motivation is really fleeting. It's really discipline yeah. that you want to build. Right. And, and the way you do that is building those habits and just making that an automatic part of your life. Right. But my, so I think you're completely right on some of the ways to make your your discipline feel like you're not having to use as much willpower. Right. Is, is having that really strong why. Um, and I think another big part of that, like having that strong why, um, but also like setting. I, I, and it's, I'm just saying this because from my experience recently, it really helped me like having an event or having like a specific time period or something that you're trying to look or accomplish certain goals by like for something. And it, it doesn't even have to be like, you know, like a powerlifting competition or a bodybuilding competition. It could be something as simple as like, I'm going on this vacation. So I'm going to reach these goals by then. Or like, I, I've got this photo shoot with my family. I'm going to reach these goals by then. I, I think just having that like, time frame and having a specific thing that you're wanting to get in shape or accomplish specific goals by, I just feel like that really helps. Um, so, so that's, that's one thing that's, that's really helped me recently. And then I want to dig even a little bit deeper on having that why, because for me, uh, like I almost feel <laughs> selfish or like that, that we're lucky because it's, it's like, we have people that, um, look up to us. Uh, and so it, that's, that's my why, right? Like I, I always have that really strong why it's like, if I'm ever losing motivation, it's like, what the hell am I doing? Like, I've got people that are looking at like everything that I'm trying to accomplish and like, look up to me and I, they use me as inspiration. Right. So that, that it's super easy to have that really strong why when, when you're someone like me or you Herb, but I, I want to challenge everyone. Cause I think everyone has someone in their life that is looking up to them um, and seeing what they're doing, what, whether they recognize it or not. Um, so I, I want everyone to try to think about that and, and think about who in your life, you know, is looking up to you and who, who would you be able to inspire by reaching your goals and, and, yeah. and having that strong why. So I um, just want to dig yeah. deeper into that, what you said. Yeah. And pr pressure, pressure is a great motivator, right? Pressure is a great motivator, right? Cause you, you run into people that go, Oh, Herb, I've been trying to smoke for years. I can't, I can't stop. And then the doctor tells you you have cancer. It's like, Oh yeah, I can stop. Yeah. It's like, so you let somebody else motivate you. You need to draw that motivation from yourself. One thing I know for sure, and Cade, you know for sure, shit doesn't happen by accident. You're not going to just show up at your powerlifting event and go, give it a shot, <laughs> right? <laughs> you structurally figure out, I got 12 weeks. This is what I got to do week one, two, three, and so on. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with pressure. If I just said to myself, yeah, I'm going to hit the gym five days a week for the next month and I'm going to kill it. That's one thing. If I say it to you and put it on WhatsApp, 
now it's got shit. Now everybody's going to be waiting for her to fuck up or accomplish this. <laughs> so again, there's nothing wrong with pressure. You just got to use it the, the way it's going to, I mean, I know it's a corny cliche, but we're sharing them today. You know, pressure makes diamonds, yeah. right? I mean, as simple as that, you perform better under pressure. People mm-hmm. find more time when they're busy than when they're, they have more time, which is kind yeah. of funny when you think about it. Right. That's so when you, yeah, yeah that's, that's so true. Thing. Yeah, I I think that's something people don't realize. It's like the time periods that I've accomplished the most or just felt like I've been in like a flow state have been the most Mm -hmm. busy where I I just, I put so much on my plate, right? But you always Mm -hmm. hear like, I'm going to start my finished journey like when when the time is right or like when when I'm less bit, I hear this so much. Like I'm going to start when I'm less busy or I'm too busy right now. But you know, when I'm less busy, I'll I'll get serious about it. It's like, no, you're you're never going to get less busy. (laughs) There's always going to be things coming up. So no, it, 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 and again, if it's important, you will find the time. If it's not, you'll find an excuse. Yeah, it's it's short and sweet. And I know I don't know about you, Kate, but you know my personality a little bit. I don't give two shits about saving everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to. I'm not walking around like a Jehovah Witness or, or someone trying to go. You need to get in shape. You need to come with me to the gym. I will take you under my wing. If you need help and want help, man, I'm here for you. Yeah. Right. If you can, if you like your lifestyle, then don't change it. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm not here to to convert people. I'm here to help the people that come in and have the same issues you and I had growing up. You know, I was the skinny little kid. Cade, you were a little bit overweight. We turn that into our motivation. If you want to use the word motivation, like you said, it's a blanket blanket term, but it's got to be something that's inside you. Right. I don't look at Cade and go, oh, shit, I got to go train today. I don't want Cade. To... No, I can look at what Cade did and what he's setting as a goal and go. Oh, I don't let that that young son of a bitch get ahead of me. No way, <laughs> right? So you got to use the motivation to motivate you. And I know a lot of people, they talk about all oh, things that come up and get in the way. That could be motivation if you used it, but you're using it and as an excuse to give up, yeah. right? Again, pressure creates diamonds, guys. It's not going to happen by accident. Yeah. Yeah, I forget the name for it, but they they say like the the time you complete a goal like it expands or contracts like the time the amount of time that you give yourself right so if mm-hmm. you're like yeah i'll accomplish this in a year like then yeah mm-hmm. it's going to take you a year even if you say i'm going to i'm going to lose 5 pounds in the next year but if, <laughs> if you like set a specific time period like and you kind of push yourself create that more pressure um then then i, I think that helps you stay yeah. on track and actually reach your goals in a more efficient effective way and and actually stay well, motivated um, you, you think about you think about our heroes our sports heroes you got a you got a guy like Jerry Rice. I know I'm showing my age with football mm-hmm. and stuff, but you don't think he has pressure every day of his life to perform better, and then he's on fucking national TV. Are you kidding me? You know. So again, high 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 visible people that we want to quote unquote be like live with pressure that they put on themselves. Mm-hmm. So you want to start being a little bit more like your heroes. Start putting pressure on yourself. Start stepping it up. Leave the crowd behind. Right. And get into that upper two percent of the people doing what we do. Then you'll see. Then you'll see some stuff going on like you're talking about. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's shift a little bit. Let's go towards continuous goal setting. So uh, Mm -hmm. I've definitely got some stuff I want to talk about on this. But what's what's your perspective on um, continuously setting goals? You know, and and so the best way to put this is when I text our, our clients and I ask for the wins. Those wins are you reaching your goals. There's yeah. daily goals, there's weekly goals, yeah. you know, there's monthly goals, there's goals for food, for new. You got to get to that the idea that everything has to be. And when I say goal, you don't just say I'm going to gain 20 pounds. It's like, here's my goal. How am I going to reach that goal? So when somebody says they have a goal, I'm like, tell me about it. And I don't want to hear that, oh, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. I want to hear how you're going to do it. What's it look like? You know, where are you at doing this? You know, you got to have that vision in your head so that when you're there, you know, you're there. Right. And and you were talking about that same thing with momentum. Momentum is the best. Momentum beats skill any day of the week, guys, any day of the week. I can't tell you how many people in martial arts and fitness I've met over the years that were so gifted. They were so gifted and I knew they were going to quit and they do because they don't appreciate how much hard work it takes. Right. You meet somebody like yourself or me. It's like, oh, yeah, I was the skinny kid. And I, you know, I eventually got up to 250. That takes a lot of fucking work, man. You don't think you got to set goals to do that. So, yeah, daily goals, monthly goals, weekly goals. Um, 
I mean, you can call it whatever you want, but I've got a shopping list for groceries later tonight. And that's my goal is to get everything on that fucking list. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so <laughs> start using the word goal more than you would normally use. Oh, I got to go shopping. No, what is your goal? What are you going for? Yeah. Right. So get into a habit of crushing goals every day. Yeah. Yeah. This is huge. So what I'll start with on my perspective is, you know, I have every day, you know, a whiteboard that has my goals on it for the day, right? So th those are my daily goals and it, it happens every single day. And literally, you know, when you say building momentum and we'll talk about that in a little bit, like getting that first one crossed off, you get that little endorphin hit, it gets you pumped up. Like it just, it sets sets you in the right direction, right? But like, you've got to set those daily, my, I, I would say, I probably have hourly goals at this point. Like it's mm -hmm. just, my, my whole day is goals, right? It's, it's crushing yeah, goals. Break it down. Yeah, yeah. So, so when I, I love that you brought up the wins that we ask for our clients, cause yeah, I feel like they don't know what we mean by that, but like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hitting wins every hour. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, you could ask me what's, what was your win in the last hour? I could tell you probably a few, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. um, you, you've got to be recognizing the wins. You got to have these micro goals that, that build that momentum. <clears throat> but the, you know, where I, where I was kind of getting with this question on continuous goal setting is you, you also you've got to have a goal like every three, six, 12 months, every like two, five, 10 years, like you've got to have goals that are pushing you short term, long term, medium term, like that. That's what keeps me motivated, right? Like I, I, I came out of this powerlifting competition. I know that if I didn't have a specific goal coming right out of it, then I would have fell into a little slump. I wouldn't have been motivated, right? I, 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 cause it's happened to me before and you learn from experience, but you've got to have just continuous goals, like immediately after you've accomplished one, it, it usually doesn't feel as, as great as you think it is. Um, you know, it's like, it, it doesn't, it's not about the accomplishing the goal, but it's about the process. And so that's why you got to continuously yes. just set new ones and push yourself and just keep progressing. So that's, yeah. that's what it's all about. So yeah. 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 I mean, like you say, it's not going to happen accidentally. Yeah. You've got to have a structured plan to hit your goals. And sometimes you got to look at those and go, wow, you know, I think I overdid it. Let me break this goal up a little bit. Yeah. Right. Because again, this is, this is all about you getting from point A to B. And like you said, with that dry erase board, here's a nice little tip that I got. I have a, I have a dry erase board also, and I used to accomplish it. I used to uh, race it. Okay. Don't do that. Cross it off. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you got 15 X's on your board, not a big spot of things that you forgot that you already did. You, you erased them, mm -hmm. leave them up there. Right. Sticky notes. Don't throw them away. Keep them everywhere. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like this guy, this son of a bitch does a lot of stuff throughout the day. Right. <laughs> We've got to start giving ourselves pats on the back and yep. not looking for external uh, people to give us pats on the back. You know, I've done this with every consulting job I've ever done when I'm building gyms and stuff. The owner will say, Herb, how can I let you know? You're doing a great job. Make sure my check clears. I already know I'm doing a great job. This is what I do. I crush it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't need somebody on the outside telling me I did a great job. I appreciate it, right? But the whole, the, 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 my, my, my self-worth comes from my value, not from someone else that gives me that value. Yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. Yeah. And the, the crossing off, like, and this is something I've talked about in the past, a little bit of a tangent, and then we'll move on to kind of the momentum piece of things. But, um, like when you don't get a bunch of, I would, I like to call them like uh, fake dopamine, dopamine hits, like, you know, just hits from social media or just stuff. Like if you, if you don't do uh, stuff like that, that gives you a bunch of dopamine, then what feels the best and you get these huge dopamine hits is, is crossing off those tasks and those goals. Like I, for me, it's like that, that's the best feeling. <laughs> like every time I cross off goals, I cross off tasks, I get things done. Like it, it's, it's so interesting that like when, when you don't feed your mind with just like, a, uh, you know, the synthetic dopamine or just like the, these hits from social media and TikTok all the time, or just like, you right. know, feeding yourself junk that gives you dopamine. It's like, you, you feel a lot more sense of accomplishment and fulfillment from doing actual tasks and taking action. Okay. So, yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's something you accomplished. Yeah. It's also something later on you can teach other people to do. Like you say, social media, it's like hit, done, gone, right? Get another one, hit, done, gone. I mean, you talk about a waste of your life, you know? Um, you don't know the people on TikTok. They don't care about you, 
right? They might give you a thumbs up on what you, they don't give two shits about you, right? Surround yourself with like-minded people, set your goals, tell people about your goals so they can help you. <laughs> You're not going to accomplish a whole lot in life on your own. You might want to think you did, but no. I mean, Kay's got, you know, a coach. I have a coach. She's got a business coach. I mean, if you want to be successful, you've got to tap into other people. And the first thing they're going to tell you is, what are your goals? I mean, what's the first thing we ask new clients when they come in? I want to lose 60 pounds. Why? What do you got coming up in the next 30 days that's that important? Why, why now? Why not six months ago? Why not hold off until another six months? No, no, now. You know, but like you say, you got to tap into that why. And once you get it, it's all up to you, man. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we've already been touching on it and you've already touched on momentum a little bit ago, but just what's your perspective Herb, on, on just how to build momentum and kind of get things going? Well, like we've already talked about, you get three or four goals under your belt, yeah. man, you talk about momentum, right? I've even messed with my clients over the years. Once they're crushing it and they're hitting goals, I'm like, Hey, why don't we just take a couple weeks off and fuck around and just get our shit back? No, no, Herb, I'm good. I'm, 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 a, I'm in a groove right now. Yeah. Let's ride it, right? And they talk about it in pro football, right? Oh, this the, the Patriots got a 12-1 and one record. This guy's got a win. But when they get to the playoffs, the only thing they talk about is who has the momentum. Because now your 1-12 player is crushing it. Momentum. You're in the right place at the right time. You're going you're gonna to accomplish things. So I think momentum is important. Momentum comes from accomplishing other things. It's that variable downhill roll, right? You tell somebody to take a week off. I can't coach. I'm on too much, I got too much momentum. I'm loving this, mm -hmm. right? Now that's your why. Yeah, yep. momentum is, is huge. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing I like to talk about with momentum, and, and I think this really resonates with me, is like, think about it like a car. It, it's, you know, the, the car is working hard to accelerate to the point that it's going at a fast speed. Like that's when the engine is working hard. But once you get up to that speed, it's like you can just put that thing in cruise con control and the engine doesn't have to work that hard. Like the car doesn't have to work that hard to to maintain that speed. And I think it's the mm -hmm. same thing with like habits um, and getting in the groove of reaching and accomplishing the goals that you have. It's like in the beginning, you know, it's tough. Um, you you want to build momentum by stacking those small wins. Mm -hmm. um, but w once you stack a few of those and you get up to speed and you, you kind of get in the groove, like you're going to be able to maintain so just know that like the beginning is harder. Um, and, and if you ever fall off, you know, it's, it's harder to get back up to the speed that you were on. Um, but once you get to that, just keep that momentum because it's so much easier to maintain, right. That, yeah. that kind of cruise control. So, yep. yeah. Make, again, it all comes down to making the right decisions, trusting the process. I know we're a fast food mentality. If we don't have it in 30, 45 seconds, we lose our fucking minds. Um, but we're, we're, you know, we're in a business where we're setting goals. You want to do a show next year. That's freaking 12, 15 months away, bro. You could screw up a whole lot of time in, in between. But instead, you know, like, okay, 12 months, let me break it down, right? And this is the week that I got to do this. I got to do that. And you got to be able to evaluate and be, you got to be your own best critic. You got to look at yourself because, again, goal setting can be hazardous to one's health when you start setting stupid goals. Right. When you start saying, I'm going to do this and, and it doesn't happen, you're like, oh, fuck that shit. It doesn't work. Right. That's why I say daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals and then go after it. Right. So, yeah, momentum is momentum is huge. Everything in life is based on momentum. Um, you know, when you're, quote unquote, in the groove, you're like, I got to keep going. I'm, I'm in I'm in the groove. Yeah, you got the momentum. Keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting you bring up like we can talk about it a little bit. Yeah. I'm kind of shifting from powerlifting into bodybuilding. I want to do my first show. Right next year um and it's kind of interesting like some of the ways that i feel like i've built momentum really quickly is not the stuff that you would think like i, I took starting progress pictures you know and that that helped me start building momentum for me just feeling super pumped up about this process because mm -hmm. i'm honestly nowhere <laughs> i'm so far off of where i want to be right so um it's, it's almost like sometimes it's like these things that make you realize even that you have a lot of work to do that that can actually build that momentum um, which kind of seems counterintuitive, but just like taking those steps towards it. Right. And then me coming up with a new training program, going into the gym, I, I feel, I feel weak in these types of workouts, right. They're, they're so different from what I've been doing. Um, but it's, it's actually motivating me. Cause like, I'm like, okay, well, once they start getting easier, 
like I know that I'm making a lot of progress towards the goals that I have now. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's just interesting. You know, I think people can look at it in two different ways. They can either get discouraged from taking those steps and they're, they're a little bit harder, but I actually get pumped up because I know that like there's room for improvement. And I know that every small step I'm taking when it's tough in the beginning is getting me like so much closer to where I want to go. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, I think the thing that scares me the most as an adult going through life and stuff is somebody else controlling my daily activities and not me. You know, somebody else telling you, Herb, you, you, sorry, you got to wait till six o'clock to work out. You got to do this first. You got to, you know, so, you know, when you can take control of your life and your goals, sometimes that's all you got. People are married. They got kids. They got responsibilities. They got jobs. Totally get it. All right. This is for you. Yeah. Right. Cade, you're not doing a bodybuilding show for me. You're not doing it for your girlfriend. You're doing it because you decided you wanted to see what potential you had. You're telling other people about it. So they're going to stay on you to do it. <laughs> and what whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Right. I mean, you might look at it and go, man, I got some great genetics for bodybuilding. Right. You might be just like me and love the sport and just, you know, I'm going to get second and third probably every time. And I just love it, you know. So, again, nothing happens by accident. Nothing happens unless you plan it out. And trust me, guys, if you're not making plans to succeed, you're making plans to fail. Yeah, and It's as simple as that. And, and, I, and I talk to a lot of people that go, well, I don't really have a lot of goals. I guarantee you, you let that person keep talking and they're going to tell you every damn problem they have in life. Because they don't have any goals. They're fo they're focused on their problems instead of going, yeah, I got some shit going on, but hey, this is what I'm doing next week. This is what I'm doing today. This is what I'm going to do in a month, right? You look at the people we talk to on here about, hey, Paul, you got something coming up. What's going on? You get, and then you see their face light up. I'm going to Europe at the end of the month. I'm going to, you, you see that, right? Now they're excited about it. You need to have that look on your face when you say you're going to the gym. I'm prepping my food, Right. I just told you I'm going grocery shopping and I told you I'm weird. I like grocery shopping, right? <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we decide what is important to us, not somebody else. Yeah. Take that control. Don't give it to somebody else. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, I think that's a good, good place to, to wrap it up here. But yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, you know, it, it has felt like in some points in my life where the fitness aspect of my life was the only thing that I could control. And when you have that, like, at least you have that, right? And it feels like you've got control over something. So I, I can't stress it enough, guys. It, it feels so good to have full control over your health and your fitness. Um, yep. So if you got any questions on any of this stuff, guys, reach out to us. Um, take some of this stuff, put it, in, put it into practice in your life right away. You know, like I say, every single time, the Elevate Everyday Podcast isn't about just listening. It's about taking what we're saying here and implementing it into your life immediately yep. after you listen to this. So um, put it in and, action, and, take action, take control. And uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll and see. Go ahead, Herb. One more thing, guys. And, and we're talking about, like, when I say daily goals, weekly goals, stuff like that, we know that those are accomplishable. We get them and we get into a habit. But at some point in time, you got to make goals that scare the shit out of you. Goals that you're like, holy crap, are you kidding me? Right? I wanted to own my own martial arts school. I had one when I was 19. I wanted to travel and do stuff. I was doing that when I was 25. I mean, so you don't know what you're, comp you're capable of, but set some goals that scared you. Set some goals that when you think about it, you look at it on paper and go, shit, man, am I doing everything I can to get here, right? So if it doesn't scare you, it's not going to change you. It doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you, right? That's the same. Yeah, 100%. 100%, guys. So yeah, so like, subscribe, do all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, love it. <laughs> We'll, we'll see you in the next episode, guys. But in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Go take yep. action and take control of your life. Yep. All right. Peace. Out, Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.